one quick cycle ride later and here we are at St. Paul's Cathedral. So we're soon approaching sunset and the plan is to meet Antoine, who you'll remember from various other blogs. And we kind of were deciding where to go tonight because we both have an annual pass for St. Paul's Cathedral. And we haven't really been since the summer where they had the late night um, opening, which is a separate vlog of mine. Do check out my channel if you want to see that. But now uh, in Britain we've changed the clocks back, which means it's winter time and sunsets a lot earlier, which means if we just sneak in right at the right time, uh, we might be able to catch a sunset from the top of St. Paul's Cathedral, which would be awesome. And then they're probably going to ask us to leave because sunset pretty much coincides with closing time. So I don't know how that's going to go, but definitely willing to try. Let's go make that happen. So here we are at St. Paul's Cathedral and I uh, can't wait to go inside. But it's going to be a little bit tricky to film because filming is actually not allowed on the inside. But I think the plan is let's do it anyway. And if they reprimand me, which they 90% sure will do, then I'll just blame it on uh, being a tourist. And I hope the South African accent will come in a little bit handy to uh, make that excuse slip. So, I'm waiting on Antoine right now. As soon as I've caught up with him, head inside and let's go to the top and get some awesome views. So after all that hyping up, there's definitely no filming inside because we didn't even make it into the front door. Um, they said there's a special service going on tonight and no visitors. So, uh, but I did find Antoine anyway, there he is, and we've just had to uh, make some alternative plans, improvise, and we've got less than an hour to go until sunset, so the best uh, thing we could think of was Tate Modern, which is just on the other side of the river, and that's where we're walking to right now. So, been there a million times as well, not super stoked because you can't use tripods, and uh, yeah, it's just not really my shooting style, and you're a little bit restricted to the viewing platform, got some set angles you can work with, but this is the best we can do and with that attitude you can only uh, go for it, right? Let's go. Random side note, currently they have on display all the ones from the Harry Potter series which is kind of cool to see and that's what's awesome about London. They always have some special things going on that you don't really expect and kind of random but kind of cool anyway. Here we are at the top of the Tate Modern, mid golden hour, lights looking really stunning, but it's extremely crowded, so we've been having to stick our camera in between these gaps and I was able to get a few shots and uh, let me show you guys the views and what photos I was able to achieve. By the way, using a polarizing filter uh, for, to get these shots, which just cleans up the glare a bit, makes everything a bit crisper and removes a lot of reflections and glare off the water and just makes your picture a little bit sharper and a little bit more clean. So um, that's the technicalities, but let's go take a look at the views. One more change of plans, we're leaving the tape behind, which is this building back here, and the viewing platform we were on is this building up here where I'm pointing to. Crossing back to the other side of the river again, because uh, it's actually low tide on the river and we spotted a really cool composition. This was actually in one of my previous vlogs where it's sunrise here, but now it's obviously sunset. So entirely different mood, but check this out. Down there, the beach is currently available, and you can see people are actually able to access the, uh, the beach and walk on it. So the plan is, we're also going to go on the beach and then over here we want to set up composition, these pillars in the foreground and then use the shard and these sunset tones in the background. Should be good. Let's go. Just made it to the beach now and there's a cool fact about London. If you see these guys back here, kneeling on the beach and scratching around, there's a reason why they're scratching and that's because London has such rich history and heritage. So London was founded by the Romans and of course had a lot of medieval activity as well with the knights and, and so on. And because of that there's a lot of artifacts that are in the river. So if you're lucky you might be able to find some Roman jewelry, that would be the first prize. But mostly you'll find some arrowheads and uh, other Roman pieces of vases that uh, chipped away and stuff like that. Really cool. So if you put a lot of effort into it and make it your hobby and come onto these beaches and scratch around, you might be in for real treasure. My personal favorite would be an engagement ring because that would just be awesome. Three diamonds. That's uh, one expense <laughs> covered for a future point in life. Don't tell her, don't tell her. Okay, let's go do some photography. 
So we just arrived at the spot we wanted to shoot from and the sunset zones are kind of already gone now. We're kind of in the light blue hour. But that's okay because this composition is just perfect and beautiful with all these lights coming on on the bridges as well as the tip of a shot being illuminated now. And because the sun is uh, be behind us, so this is a backlit composition, it's a very even scene and uh, we don't need to do much in terms of managing our dynamic range because you get, you get those nice mid-tones throughout and it's very easy to expose and retain all the detail and color in the shot which is just perfect for photography conditions. Now, um, if you know me and you know my style, you'll know that I immediately grabbed for the six stop filter which helped me to keep this water um, silky smooth, get a really mirrored, uh, smooth, uh, icy looking uh, surface and I just think that looks really surreal and beautiful. So, with it getting quite dark already and a six stop filter, I estimated an exposure time of three minutes that's why uh, the camera's on bulb mode right now. You can see that red light on the camera. It's just going, going, going. I'll check on it in a second because there's a little stopwatch on the side. And hopefully, fingers crossed, three minutes should give us a perfect um, result of the scene perfectly exposed, top to bottom, and the water just looking super smooth. So let me go check on the time and <laughs> finish the shot. That was the technicalities, but let me talk you through the composition and what caught my eye artistically. So, the foreground, I just love the texture of the rocks here in the foreground. That rough surface, um, as well as these pillars, which kind of add leading lines and guide the viewer through the photograph. Leading into the background, where of course you got the shard, and just finishing the whole composition out. And I love these cool blue tones coming through that are just light, but not too dark yet. But you still look at the sky looking nice and beautiful without it looking too much like night and these lanterns just coming in really nicely as well so just love all the moods and stuff and then you can also see a lot of reflections starting to come through in the water as well so it's getting dark now and i'm done shooting because i'm not really into big into shooting night i just prefer the blue hour and then kind of like to call it a day because i'm all about the colors in the sky and not the lack of colors which is night so I kind of feel like a broken record saying that every time I tend to end this vlog saying it's night and I'm done shooting. But what also will sound like a broken record is, this is the end of the vlog. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in a future adventure. See, total broken record because I've got that thing on lockdown, total repertoire, I've got it down. So anyway, that's it for today and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.